Have you ever heard of combo boxes? I use them all the time and chances are you have too. They are super common web development feature. Hello everyone, my name is Sashank and welcome to this video where we will build a combo box component using Vue.js and Tailwind CSS. We'll cover the code for a basic yet versatile combo box. But wait, what exactly is a combo box? It's a UI element that lets users pick an option from a predefined list. They often have a search box too, making it easy to find exactly what you need. Combo boxes are great for forms, filters and other interactive features. Before we dive in, I want to mention that I have the full code for this tutorial available for free on my website, but I highly recommend sticking around for the video because understanding the logic is what will really help you to level up your coding skills. Alright, let's get building. Here I am in my VS code with Vue.js and Tailwind CSS installed. Let's see the UI structure first. We have a relative div which contains the drop down button and also the absolutely positioned div which has the input box and also the list of items. So on the left, this is the drop down button and on clicking we have this absolutely positioned div which has the input box and the list of items. So let me show you the variables I created in the script setup to get the logic. So we have this selected genre. So that is the value that user selects that is stored in the selected genre. And then we have the search term, which is the term that we will be searching here. For example, horror, for example, yeah, that is stored in the search term. And then we have the show list that is this box itself, which input box and then the list of items and then we have box container and search input these two are the references of this drop down button and then the search input area we'll see where we are using it we are wrapping this button this drop down button with the box container ref and inside this absolute box we have the input and the list of items and for the input, I've give the reference of search input. So why I did this? When I click outside the box, I want the drop down to be closed. So when I click, it is closed. So why search input means since we gave an absolute positioning, even this search input is considered outside the box. So even when we click here to type, it will close. So I have added search input as well. So when we click outside the search input also it will close and when we click on the search input it will not close. So let's see the function how we achieve this. So we have this function called close drop down. So what we are doing here is on mount we are looking for click events and when there is a click we are triggering the close drop down button sorry close drop down function. So this function targets the click and if the click is not on the box container or the search input then it will do these two things means it will reset the value of the search term to empty which means when we type something here and if we click outside and when we open it again it is reset and then we are closing this drop down box itself that is by making the value of show list to false so this entire box with input and the list of items will disappear let's go to the template now so inside this ref we have this drop down button which has the click event of triggering the show list value to invert its existing value means when we click if the show list is false it becomes true means it opens and then if we click again it closes and here we are showing the selected genre or just the string to select a genre so when we click if there is nothing selected we have this select a genre string if we select something then we have this selected genre there so that's what uh, this line is doing and next to it we have this icon this is this is being animated using the state of the show list so if it is open then it is rotating 180 degrees 
if it's not then it will reset to its original position and we are using the tailwinds animation properties like transition and transform properties to animate it then we have this show list div that is the drop down with input and items we have the input box where we can enter the search term and then we have the div with the actual list of items so here we are using v4 to filter all the items all the genres so we have a variable called movie genres which has all the genres but we are using the filter genres why because we want only the search input to appear here so this is the function const filter genres what we are doing here is we are taking the entire movie genres and then we are filtering it with the help of the search term so first we are converting the genre to lower case and then we are looking if the search term is starting with the search term i mean like if the genre is starting with the search term so when we type something for example biography i type bio so this is the search term and what this function is doing this it is checking if this search term is starting with the genres starting so bio and then if it is then it will show the items here so if i type a we can see action adventure animation and anime all starting with a so that's what this filter genres is doing and then on click we are triggering the select genre function with the clicked item this is the function select genre so whenever we click any item inside so let's click and it's adventure now so what happened here is that genre that we clicked that is moved to the selected genre value and then we are resetting the search term and then we are closing the drop down with this line so that's what we are doing it here just another thing uh, you can see that when we click on the drop down we have a custom scroll bar and not the default scroll bar that's because i added a custom scroll bar in my css file with the name combo scroll bar and then i added that class name into the div where i'm showing the list here so the creation is simple so we have this property called web kit scroll bar track is something that acts as the background here the light indigo color then thumb is something that we are actually clicking and holding and moving it and then we have the thumb hover so on hover you can see that it's slightly changing the color so that's the thumb hover is doing and that's all we have a functional combo box to take this even further i have added dark mode support and accessibility features for users with screen readers you can grab that enhanced code for free on my website citrusui.in i'll put the link in the description if you got any ideas for other tutorials you would like to see drop a comment or send me a message on twitter thanks for watching if you found this helpful please give the video a like and subscribe